All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the whole Bladework Spectre Prestige V3 here with me for a review. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's check this out because this is fantastic. This is probably my favorite uh, Spectre uh, that I tried because it's just so nice. Uh, I'll, I'll show you why I like this guy so much. Uh, overall length of uh, this guy is going to be a little bit over 8 inches with a 3 point. 3.6 inch long blade and I would say 4.5 inch long handle uh, but let's see how this guy compares up against some uh, popular uh, knives like this is the Ontario Red number one and of course you've got uh, the Ontario Red number two right over here and um, it's uh, the Spectre has a beautiful size uh, overall the handle to blade ratio is just gorgeous it's right in between most of the offerings um, that you're gonna see for example right in between the Ontario Red number one and Ontario Red number two this is the Spideco Para 3 and of course you know you can expect a Spideco Para Military 2 coming up next and you see that this this guy is just a slightly, uh, just a tad shorter than this guy and uh, of course longer than um, the Para 3 but look at the handle, look at the handle, that's pretty much the same handle size but blade uh, it's uh, not of course uh, some other uh, offerings uh, for example here you can see uh, Chris Reeve knives uh, small Sebenza 21 and large Sebenza 21 again this guy is right in between these very very common options from Chris Reeve knives and uh, somebody says you know the uh, large Sebenza is too big the small Sebenza is too small there you have it, that's the pretty, pretty serious uh, size to consider. Of course, we've got another couple options here from Custom Knife Factory. This is the uh, 520, designed by Philippe Georget, and this is the Snafu, designed by Peter Rassenti, both Custom Knife Factory, again, right? I mean, this is very, very similar in size. This is a huge boy. So, again, you can see how it compares to these higher-end knives. Uh, for example, of course, we've got uh, Shirogorov Neon Zero right over there, and the bigger brother Shirogorov F95 R Slim, which is also a big boy. I mean, super nice, slim, beautifully done. But this size is just is just great. Another couple of options that I can show you around here are a little bit more fancy knives. Uh, this is Shirogorov F5. Uh, this is Arius from Koenig Knives. Uh, this is a beautiful marble, car uh, marble carbon fiber scales. And as you can see, uh, look at this, for example, compared to the Arius, the Spectre has the same cutting edge, the same amount of blade, but look at the handle. So handle to blade ratio Spectre is is killing it, is, is just uh, really, really good. Another couple options that I can show you guys over here. What do we have? Something fancy. Of course, I'm gonna show you my uh, Peter Rassenti Nirvana uh, 3.0. This is a large and look at that. It's very, very comparable handle size and very, very comparable blade size. That's why I love this guy so much. And I'm going to show you another Canadian. So you've got this American between two Canadians uh, uh, right over here. This is the Kirby Lambert uh, Rain in, uh, in a beautiful, beautiful uh, dragon skin blade. So... I mean, I guess, uh, okay, another one. I'm gonna show you just this guy over here because I have it. This is the Hinderer Knives XM18. And since we have it here, look at that. I'm gonna show you also up against this big boy. This is the Satori, uh, also Peter Rassenti, um custom knife uh, in a beautiful, beautiful Dama steel blade right there. So let's get started. You've seen enough of uh, this boring uh, uh, size comparison. Let's just talk about this guy over here. Guys, would you look at that? I mean, would you look at this? I mean, guys, this is uh, something really, really cool, really, really spectacular. Uh, the lines, I don't know why, but I, 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 I like it so much. It's, uh, it's so well done. It's so nice. The action, look, sound, feel, everything. So let's start with the look. Look is, is just gorgeous. I mean, this is a titanium frame lock, uh, beautifully milled. Look at these lines. Look at the fine lines milled out. This pattern is the bent starburst pattern, different than the starburst. Only 
only, which is uh, mm, uh, you can see it uh, in the version 2, 1 and 2. Uh, this is version 3 and it has this bent pattern that, you know, starts from over here, originates here and then like sun rays just scatters around and on this side just are bent more than towards this side, but just beautifully done. Really, really cool, guys. Look at that. I mean, the milling lines are just fantastic uh, on this one. It's uh, gorgeous. I mean, fantastic. Simply, simply put, it's just beautiful. Nice chamfering uh, going on uh, around the edge over here. There is a little bit of chamfering going on on the inside also. Uh, you can spot right over here, hold blade works and uh, the number which matches the pouch. Um, You've got uh, a nice uh, uh, Timascus backspacer because it, this is a prestige specter. It's, it's not just a refined, uh, beautiful purple and green Timascus clip matching, of course, the backspacer. Uh, there's no lanyard hole going on. Uh, you've got a nice uh, jimped area over here, but that's it. I mean, this is just like a it's not really jimped, it's just milled out beautifully, beautifully. So when you flip it, it just adds a little bit of traction when it's like that for the deployment. So um, great. The uh, lock face insert is right over here. Nice stainless steel lock face insert, uh, which uh, also has an integrated detent right over here, which is right in contact with the tang of the blade. And this translates into a zero space, zero uh, area, let's say there's no area uh, empty uh, between the detent and the tang of the blade, which translates into this, like, I mean, uh, as soon as detent uh, hits the tang of the blade, the knife can close. There's no, uh, for example, like in this case over here, there's no detent ball ramp here there's no need for the detent ball ramp. Here there's no detent ball ramp and this guy wants to hang over here, you see? You need to wiggle it, sometimes it snaps back, but you need to wiggle it stronger or just give it a push in order for this guy to be able to uh, close. Uh, this is not the case in the Spectre and that's one of the most beautiful features of this um, uh, mechanism over here which is by the way uh, patented because you can see right over here there's a little hole where you can insert your wrench 0 0.035 wrench to um, tune, fine tune the strength of the detent. How cool is that? You will, You want a strong flipper you want a light flipper, you, you can your medium uh, strength, you, you can choose it. It's uh, it's really, really great. Um, you've got uh, also right over here a very, very hidden uh, lock bar uh, cutout, which is on the inside. So on the outside, you don't see anything. So it's not going to uh, ruin the cleanliness of the look, for example, uh, to say, I don't know, let's take uh, what? this guy over here. You see the cutout is external, so it's gonna be here and it's gonna interfere with the cleanliness of the lock bar actually. In this case it's just on the inside and it's uh, milled internally so to leave the back like that. Just beautifully done. Of course the scales are internally skeletonized, there's some serious internal milling going on uh, to save the weight on this guy. Um, the screws are not proprietary, not protruding, just a little bit of bulge going on on the pivot but nothing too crazy. Disassembly of this guy is gonna be super straightforward. You got a T10 and T8 and you're done. I mean couple bearings, uh, there's of course washers, uh, uh, like spacers, kind of thing on the inside but that's it you're, you, you're gonna be like uh, done in like five minutes ten minutes tops uh, if you want to clean it up and lube it up so really really straightforward disassembly for this guy you cannot uh, uh, reverse the clip it's gonna be staying in this position only it's tip up carry only and it's not ambidextrous this is just done for right-handed people um, the blade in uh, question is a beautiful beautiful uh, dama steel blade uh, nicely crowned spine beautiful jimping going on I love this drop point going on over here maybe you've got like a, I would say around 30% belly and straight 
straight edge up to the sharpening choil which reveals a fantastically thin behind edge blade full flat grind nice plunge grind and also like nice chamfering going on in the flipper tab really really cool uh, grind symmetry is perfect edge symmetry is uh, also on point and uh, you've got a beautiful beautiful blade clean look sterile nothing going on nothing is distracting your attention from this from admiring this beautiful blade is just gorgeously clean with a beautiful pattern like dama still going on like that guys this is just crazy i love this guy also what i really love is the sound this is a very distinctive sound you have a it's a very pleasant and listenable uh soft clack and clink and clack and clink and clickety clackety it's uh, it's just beautiful and it's very distinctive i mean this is the version three okay uh try to listen to version two it's very different the version 3 is uh, subtler has a subtler sound is uh, less loud and uh, it's uh, it's different um, I like them both uh, but uh, it's different so it's a really really subdued and uh, very elegant sound in my opinion I really really like it uh, what I also really like is the weight of because this guy is gonna be 3.6 ounces so it's uh, it's really really light I, I like the job uh, they've done uh, in this one also hot spots zero there's no hot spots going on uh, over here no sharp edges uh, just you've got the right amount of jimping going on over here there's no finger choil just sharpening choil over here of course you can easily do a nice uh, reverse grip the handle is sized uh, for a medium uh, I have large hands so it's it's just great it just feels awesome uh, with the reverse grip you can't really choke it up but in the hand it feels absolutely solid I mean it's uh, it's not gonna go anywhere texture it's great like this milled out grooves are giving nice traction nice grippy feeling to your purchase i don't see any gaps going on the milling the the fit and finish is just spectacular guys there's nothing not in the right place in this one um of course there's no blade play uh, the action is just ridiculous you've got uh, um, and I would say like the the spring tension of the clip is maybe a little bit on the on like strong side that would be my only thing if I have to say something and of course the price because this guy is not gonna be cheap uh, but everything else fit and finish is uh, just spot on I don't see any defect uh, uh, whatsoever deployment speed also is super fast snappy you can do push button of course uh, you have a jimped area over here which is going to be beautiful if you want to do a nice light switch like that i mean guys this is just spectacular action is fantastic no finger sore whatsoever uh super smooth uh, uh ball bearings action really fast you've got a, even a little bit of a kickback when you deploy the blade like that uh, uh, because it's so smooth and it hits the stop pin which is internally done like right over there uh, very very uh, cool action no way you're gonna be able to touch the tip of the blade which is absolutely uh, perfectly centered uh, no rattling when shaken and closed i mean uh, the lock release uh, area is super efficient to disengage uh, uh, the lock bar and just close the, the 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 blade itself very very cool no need for detent ball ramp on this guy because of the geometry how it has been engineered is just uh perfect i love when the detent ball is the uh in right, direct contact with the tang of the blade as soon as you disengage the lock bar it's just beautiful uh, so you're not gonna feel any hard step uh, whatsoever you have of course free fall as soon as you disengage the lock bar the blade wants just to shut close you can see you can even do this and it's just gonna have this guillotine effect so as soon as it's uh, brought in the vertical position this guy just like closes like 
it feels like there's a magnet attracting the blade. It's just, uh, it's just crazy, guys. So overall, I mean, this guy looks uh, pretty, pretty smooth. It's sleek. It's elegant. Looks great. Beautiful lines. Uh, it's so clean and minimal, and uh, the sound is unique. The grip is fantastic. Action is. Uh, blowing my mind i mean is just a check 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 for me so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned